Well, here we are, assuming that this actually worked. <laughs> We're going to do a 24 volt battery build live here. We've got a one hour time limit, so we'll see if we actually get to the end of the build. If you're joining us and this isn't, um, and you're not joining us live and you're joining us after the fact, this might be a little bit more haphazard than if you go view one of our other videos where we've edited it and it's a little more concise. Um, however, this could be fun. Uh, we're also going to be monitoring the uh, Mac here for comments as we go. So if y'all have any questions as we go build this battery and we can clarify anything, let me know. That's one of the things that I struggle with is if I've built five of these batteries and I go to build another one and show people how or show how I do it anyway, I can skip over things that I think um, don't matter as much, but maybe I've just forgotten when I learned that. So anyway. Here we are. So 24 volt is going to be eight cells. We're going with these lithium iron phosphate lysian cells. Um, we have one box here we need to open. We're going to use an Ant 16S BMS. Uh, this will do anywhere from 7S to 16S. It is rated at 320 amps. That's Chinese 320. It's really the surge current that it's rated for. What it has is four 12 gauge wires coming off of the BMS here. So I figure more like 120 amps. So we're shooting for you know 120 to be able to pull off of this battery. And at 24 volts, if you have 100 amps at 24 volts, that's about 2.4 kilowatts. Um, you know, push that up to 120, 130. You could do like a three kilowatt inverter. So these come nicely packaged in foam. And did that come with the bus bars? It did not. Noise. So I wonder if we pulled it out. Did you pull it out earlier? Well, it didn't. Did you have to cut it open? No. Oh, it wasn't. I taped it so it would be closed for us. I already pulled these out. Could you grab one from, I probably got bus bars sitting just randomly on batteries over there. Check the drawer though, I think. You think we already pulled it? I pulled out some, but I've got enough for uh, six cells, not for eight. I got bus bars, I just don't have the nuts and the studs. Um, I go back to the BMS, how about that? So this is an amp BMS, it's a Bluetooth BMS, which means it is, it doesn't mean, but it is also configurable, which is something I appreciate. We have in here, uh, we, when we grab one of these BMSs, we pair it with all of the ring terminals needed to get onto the cells of the battery. And you've got your uh, 17, since leads here. Uh, for us, we'll need to look up the diagram to find which leads go where, because we're only gonna be using, if it's 8S, I think we're gonna be using 10 of the leads, and you'll see how those connect. Anyway, with each box of these cells that includes two cells, at least for us anyway, um, you do get this nice little manila envelope. Dum, dum, da, dum. Can you log in to the Bean Brothers WordPress site for you and grab, there's a, um, dang it, it's media, it's a zip file, but I don't have it publicly linked anywhere. I've just copy and pasted it to people, but it's, it's up on the website. Um, we'll grab the instructions for the BMS because that would be handy to have. All right, so we'll grab, we've got the two bus bars and we've got our studs. Don't run away from me and our nuts. Yes, there's another stud in there somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> so studs in here, these are M6 studs, which doesn't really matter unless you are looking to do custom bus bars or you don't already have the ring terminals. Um, so we'll stick these in the top of the cells here just so I don't lose them. They like to run away on me. I haven't lost one yet, amazingly. And I will stick these nuts down in the drawer so I don't lose them. Um, pretty thick copper. Copper nickel plated. Nice and shiny. Um, something else we're also doing today is when we put these bus bars onto the terminals, we are going to put a little bit of no locks on here. And this will prevent corrosion between the aluminum of the battery terminal and the nickel copper of our bus bar because they are different. That's probably why they're nickel plated just to avoid that. But 
I don't think it's gonna hurt to put a little Nolox on there. One of the big challenges for me when putting these cells together is how to physically constrain them, especially when you get something that's a little bit bigger like this. These weigh, you know, a pretty good amount. I think, what is this, about 60 or 70 pounds, I think, for four of them. Hey, look at that. So can we go up to eight strings? See if that exists. If it doesn't show up, then it's my fault, because I pulled that documentation down and, uh, Oh, is it all like different files? Oh, oh, there you go. I've forgotten what I've done. All right, so you'll see there that in the, um, the middle, those two blue middle wires, you hold end up on, using. Hold on. Oh, is it not they don't, up? they don't see it yet. Oh, they don't see that? That's just my preview. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sitting here talking about something, and you're just like, why are your hands moving? That's all. That's, yeah, anyway. Oh, that's, I should take my ring off while I'm building batteries. I'll stick that in there. Aha! Okay, so the right-hand side is the program, according to the preview, <laughs> as opposed to the preview. Here, Kale's got this really cool setup <laughs> where we can act actually see. Oh, there he's, okay, he'll just, just view what y'all are seeing. So Sorry. now I see what y'all are seeing. Uh, you see those two blues in the middle are, so you have two sense leads to your number four cell, counting up, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. Counting up from the main negative, you'll have two sense wires going to it, and that, I assume is so that the BMS knows that you're actually trying to do an 8S. I don't know, bridge is something, whatever. And then you'll notice that the 8 plus, the battery plus, also has two sense wires. So you'll be using for, let's say, 8 to 11, what is that, 12 wires for an 8S? Is that right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 wires for an 8S. Anyway. I was thinking about what to do first, and we're already burning through time. We're at six minutes is we need to get all of these cells arranged and glued together. We're just going to throw some hot glue between them. Hey, look, a tool. I need to turn it on. What, the screen? Oh, we're going to change the screen. So I actually see what we're doing. Now that y'all sort of know what we're doing with BMS. Um, we're just going to throw a little hot glue between the cells. And that's really just to keep the cells from rubbing on each other. If these are in a mobile environment, and they do a bunch of rubbing. The protective blue shrink wrap stuff here would eventually wear through, and the metal casing underneath is, in fact, the negative, I believe, terminal of the battery. So you would then have a short that your BMS could not take care of. Um, I don't know how bad that would be, but it certainly wouldn't be a good battery after that. So let's not do that. So the deal is, the, the idea is to capture the battery so that they don't rub on each other. And then we can put all of our bus bars and everything and our BMS on there. The other thing is that as these cells um, cycle, they can expand a little bit because they are prismatic cells. And so we want them to be pulled together, and in our case with some all thread, uh, to keep them from expanding and contracting, even with just heat and cold, right? So that the terminals up top aren't being stressed over time, because uh, then they could leak electrolytic fluids. And then where would we be? Um, let's grab the wood. Okay. And I think we need to build. I've thought through this, and we're going to see how well it actually works. Um, please forgive me for my horrible carpentry skills. That is not my strong suit. But the idea here is that we've got these two side pieces. See if I can figure out how to do this. That will sort of kind of fit together. Watch, up to this point, I'll probably put like certain ones together. Oh, that actually fits really well. And then ones together. Oh, that actually fits really well. And then we'll have the cells in between. Excuse me for hammering on your ears there. Um, so we'll have the cells lined up like this in here. So we'll have four here and four here. We'll have a piece of all thread here, here, and on this end here, pulling everything together. And then here on the front, uh, we're going to run some stainless steel bolts through to be our positive and negative terminals. So we need to first, I believe, run our stainless steel hardware, as it would be much easier to do now than after we have cells inside. 
So we've got Home Depot made out today um, because stainless steel hardware is hard to come by at this Home Depot, apparently. I think that's all the pieces. I'm gonna need, do we have a screwdriver? <laughs> a massive screwdriver? If we don't, I think my Leatherman's got one that works. Um, this is kind of cool being able to ask somebody, hey, do we have this? I got some wing nuts. I don't know how well these are gonna work. I may end up going back and getting just some normal M8 nuts. Um, the wing nuts would be for holding the battery cables. Battery cables, the battery lugs. Say if it's going to your inverter charger or your charge controller. On to the stud. One thing we're not worried about is passing current through these stainless steel studs. Because um, what we're going to do is stick these through, capture it in place here onto the wood. Then we will put, like, say, our uh, BMS terminal right there. And then right on top of it, we'll put our terminal going to the battery. Like this. Bam. So they will be directly connected to each other. And they're not going to be flowing through the big old stud. Actually, that's exactly where I need it. What do you know? And I'm going to stick the other one right here. And another. I might be able to get away with just the, the socket wrench, actually. Because these are, in the wood, they're, um, they might just need to be torqued down. Are those big enough heads a, a flathead might work? It's not very big, though. Uh, yeah, indeed. I lost myself a wing nut down there. Would y'all, would someone mind grabbing that for me? Thanks. Don't tell your shop teacher I'm using pliers. Why are you using pliers? Because I have all these tools in the drawer in front of me, and for some reason I'd rather use my broken leatherman. What's the nut? Because I could even one? go uh, maybe a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter. We are going to run out of time, aren't we? That's all right. That must be a 13 half inch. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right, so those there. That's it. You have a... Is that the torque one there? There we go. Oh, I don't even know. Maybe there is one in there. It's the part where I go, oh, right. I could have used a washer on the wood. I think it'll be fine. I just need these tight enough so that when I do the wing nut, it doesn't try and loosen anything. Weird. So now we've got our battery studs. That's simple enough. It was probably like eight bucks worth of battery studs. Um, so what we need to do is then glue our four cells together in the right positive negative configuration, and then drop those in here. Uh, we will need to glue the, um, put some glue on the wood here. So let's do it this way maybe. Oh, that one doesn't have the markings. This one's got the markings for where, we've got markings for where the cells are supposed to sit. So that'll be, this'll be fun. This'll be fun. Glue. Hold on, let me set this aside. I've been joking about cooking shows all evening long. Um, but spoiler alert, we don't have a 24 volt battery sitting in an oven somewhere ready to go. Oh. Yes. I was going to do it a different way, but that way works. So the, the, the thing about. Uh, the thing about I can't talk and do things I think just want to work 
Just I guess, one? Well, I don't have four clamps. Okay. Oh, yikes. That's acting like a Walmart clamp. I mean, there's probably a good reason for that. Um, they work. They held up my curtains during the ice storm. <clears throat> I think I was saying something and then I didn't end up saying what it was. When we're in the box, our positive and negative terminals are going to be right here. So this is a positive. I don't suppose it matters which one is positive, which one's negative. Unless I want to care which way the BMS sits. This would be, I wanted to mount the BMS on the outside of the box out here, coming up to here. So I think that I'd rather this be the negative terminal. And then the BMS sense leads can come off here. If I had it this way, oh, this is the part where I should be wearing my safety glasses, huh? Messing with cells. All right, I'm going with negative terminal first. I don't know why I'm grabbing yet another battery, but there we go. We're gonna go negative, positive, negative. You gotta watch out for these cells. You can't just look at them and go, oh, look, white, that must be negative. I mean positive, I mean, you know, however you think. White on these is negative. To me, that white is positive, but I shouldn't be paying attention to that. I should be looking at what it says, or even using a multimeter. That would work. Um, so you guys can't see what I'm doing. There we go, now you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, that's nice and hot. Yay! Do you want to put the rest together? Yeah. While well, I can think about what I'm trying to do next. Yay, BMS. Um, I don't suppose anyone's got questions. That's okay. That could either mean that nobody really cares and they're just watching this while they watch TV and they're doing it to be nice to me so that I get a few views, which in case, thank you. I, I appreciate that. RV10 Flyer says it's good timing. He's got four on the slow boat. Oh, nice. So. Yes. Yeah, that, which means you need to get your BMS on the slow boat. <laughs> I've done that before. I've got batteries or cells here, and it's like, well, I can't do anything with them. I need a BMS. And if you're doing four, do the, in my opinion, do the JBD BMS. Um, like the Overkill BMS. It's the same thing, just marketed differently. Um, but yeah, you can find those on AliExpress. They're like, how are we on gap here? Is this too much on this one? I left some room. I think it'll be fine. Is this too little gap here? No, I mean little. It doesn't. I don't care. Okay. Too little gap is fine, as well. Yes, you're good. Um, while he's doing that. So do we want to do the same thing with this? Yes. Same same design as this guy. Oh right, because. Or do you want to reverse? Right, so this one starts negative here. So we want to do here. These are already connected because I was doing a 12 volt with these. Um, so this needs to be a positive like that, and then negative, and so like this. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Because then, okay, make sure this is right, right? So we go positive, and then we'll go up a bus bar, up a bus bar, up a bus bar, and then across bus bar. So if we, made the, if we made the main battery terminals on the outside here, then we'd end up trying to go from here to here. Oh, I'm sorry, that one's not on the screen. Um, end up trying to jump this to here with a bus bar, and that would be kind of awkward. I guess if we did a flex cable, we could do that. Um, I've got some copper sheet that I can jump this with, since it's going to be a larger space with that um, all thread down the middle. So yes, that's the way we want to do it. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm certainly no expert in this. I'm just trying to improve every time I do it. <laughs> um, would you mind bringing up the 8S diagram again? So I can actually tell where I should connect these terminals. Would you, uh, oh, yep. <laughs> yeah. The other side, 
And I think we've got some like legit crimpers in here. Oh look, we can even open the drawer. I don't know that I've actually used these on here, but I think they're gonna work great. I what know, we, what I do we use the other day? Uh, I mean, I've been using my Leatherman because that's what I do. What the, I can't remember what I used did uh, we use something on else? Saturday we did stuff. I don't think we used that though. I don't know which direction I should be going with this. It doesn't really matter, I guess, that much if I just crush it to oblivion. Are we done with this for now? Yeah, we should be done with that. But it actually holds, and I didn't have to go restrip the wire. Um, so, the black wires, of course, goes to your main negative on your battery. Uh, and that battery, that cell, that cell of the battery, the one the black wire goes to is considered cell number one. So when you're looking at a diagram like this, you should have cell number one has the black wire and then it also has the first positive wire. Just helpful tidbit that took me a little bit to figure out. To me, I don't know, logically it would seem like the first cell in a battery would be on the positive side, but I don't know why. That's just what I thought. Two. So I need one, two, three, four, five of these. And number five is actually going to be two wires inside of one terminal. Um, what are we going to do after this? We don't have to crimp the uh, BMS. Oh, you know what we're going to have to do, though? We're going to have to remove the battery minus one. Because, well, I don't know. Do you think that'll work? Is the nut big enough to hold that down? I know we've got flanged nuts. I'm getting distracted. Well, you, I'll take if, this over. Oh, okay. While you start working on that. I'm doing Whoa, one, one through four. The fifth one is gonna have two, five and six. Uh, that is correct indeed. Okay. Uh, and it's gonna be the first, it's gonna be one of these that it shares with, I think. I think? How many, is that actually? Yeah, it is. It's one of these, if the diagram can be trusted. So far, these diagrams have been accurate, which is a, you know. Do you still do the drawing up? Uh, do you need the drawing up? For now, no, so I may have to ask about that later. Okay. You know what? I think the primary goal is to get plenty of contact area between the surface, this top surface of the cell terminal and the bottom surface of this lug. So I think this serves its purpose. It serves its surface purpose. That'll be fine. Um, temperature sensors are nice. So we've got three little extra sets of wire here. So the one with three terminals on it plug into the A of this little temperature sensor circuit board. And then the other wire that's got black and red, it'll be a daisy chain off to the other, the other temperature sensor. Yes. By the way, I'm, I'm somewhat rambling here, guys. So if y'all have questions, even if they're not necessarily related to building a battery, feel free to try and distract me and uh, See if, see if we can talk about other things that might be more interesting or just as interesting. All right, so I got uh, black, white, white, white. So it's so four. Got four. And so the very next one, okay, so you run ah, up to. Ah. See, I screwed up. I grabbed, I jumped one. Okay, so this is the fifth one, and it needs to, it should have been. Oh, it should have been a bit of double. That's all right, we got plenty. Just snip it. Okay. I think these have snippers on them. They do. Oh yeah? Oh look at me, I'm just making a mess. Is the is this the one that Is the one I dropped? I wonder where I left the other one. Probably lost it now. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> playing Rocket League while watching me. Hey, you know, I really appreciate that you're watching. Makes YouTube think that I'm valuable. Oh, Basin said they were sold out. That's funny because I just asked them the other day, um, and it, it sounded like they still had some, but he did say that they, um, they weren't planning on getting more at the moment. They hadn't heard from the manufacturer. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking that wrong. Maybe he said that he had the 280 cells instead of the 272s. Honestly, if you're, if you're looking to do eight more, I mean, the 280 amp hour compared to the 272, I don't think it'd be a problem. Just run them all. Like, yeah, you'll lose the, um, you won't get that extra eight amp hours off of, uh, off of that second set if you run them in parallel or series. Yeah, I used, um, I used Basin, Shenzhen Basin for these guys. Uh, you're asking about what supplier we had. I don't know if anybody else has them. I kind of wonder if other companies on Alibaba actually have real stock or if they're all just one big warehouse and you got a bunch of salespeople on Alibaba and the first person that puts their order into the warehouse gets it shipped out. I really don't know. That's it's somebody that has actually been over there <laughs> deals with importing more than me might know. That's the way it feels like when you're talking with people at Alibaba though. Yeah. So I've got number five. OK. So can you throw the diagram up real quick? Yeah. If we have two. So we've got our main positive. One, two, three, four, five. So is it also five from this direction? And then two, oh, that's right. That's easier to count that direction. There's two that aren't used. And you have two, four, five that are not used? So I'm the guy on the left uh, side. You're on the right. I'm on the right. So, so you can actually, yeah. It's funny as they're all red and then one black. These, are, these have a bunch of white wires in them. So, oh, OK. Gotcha. So I've got So one, you have five two, on the left? Two, three, four, five unused. Unused, sweet. And I have two in use. So this one here, this number three from the right, you will crimp together with that one. Okay. That will be our magic 8S configuration uh, for the ant. The two blue ones. Yeah, the, the two, two blue, blue ones. ones. Yep, those are the blue ones. Okay. Um, oh, because you had to, I'm trying to figure out technology. I really don't know. There you go. Well, I asked if you wanted. Yeah. Never mind. I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, I was gonna try and pronounce your name, C L P O Elker. <laughs> I don't I don't know. That's probably just as bad as my name, which is Fourth Bean. Um, I agree. Forty eight volt is best for. It seems like forty eight volt is the max that we do in the U S. I think that revolves around some code compliance. If you actually go. I say that, but no, but no. Tesla has had like 500 volt DC batteries, so I don't think it's a code compliance thing, unless they just got away with it for a little while, and then they're like, no, we have to do 48 volt now. Um, but it seems like everything is 48 volt max, in which case, yes, if you, can, if you can do your stuff to do a 48 volt, like I did a small solar generator, and I ran that thing on like a 10 gauge wire, but it had a 1500 watt inverter, and I could do 60, 60 amp charging, you could do like 2.8 kilowatts worth of panels all on 48 volt. And for something that you could you know, pull around in a suitcase, other than the solar panels, of course, um, 48 volt was nice because I didn't have to have any of those big two gauge or two watt wires to handle that amperage. So I still need to come, I need to put some of these on, right? Uh, so the left, yes, uh, from, from the one that you crimped all the way to the red need terminals. OK. Oh, OK. So you skip those two, you crimp that don't. one, and then all the other ones need terminals. So the rest of these here. Yeah, those there. need terminals. Okay. This, unfortunately, we don't have any of the 24 volt grow watts. Um, Caleb won't say it out loud, but I, I made a mistake and only bought 48 volt grow watts because I was like, 48 volt is king. When you have 272 amp hour cells, um, it can be kind of cost prohibitive to go 48 volt when you really only need like seven kilowatt hours of battery capacity instead of like 14. Um, so anyway, I did 
buy a 24 volt inverter. And if we can get done with this build, I, I don't know, we've got half an hour left. So this might be something for next week. Um, I did buy a 24 volt inverter that we need to check out and see how well it works. That's a little more cost effective than the grow watts. I'm curious how well it works. Actual class A cells. That one's that one's hard because it's like, what do you classify as a class A? I've heard some people that are a little closer to the battery industry than me have talked about this and their theory or or their research, I don't know how grounded it is, is that these Lycian and the 280 Eve cells were from a large run of batteries or cells that ended up didn't getting not getting bought or not getting used for their purpose. And if that was the case, that would kind of explain why they're so inexpensive and they're just trying to unload them. And it could very well be that here in a few months, they're not available anymore. Because you're right, these are really, really inexpensive for brand new lithium iron phosphate cells. And trying to you know, take hold of that while we can, which it sounds like most of you are doing as well. All right, I think I've got everything crimped now. So Will, what, when you say work with the system, what, um, what system are you talking about? Are you just talking about will solar make sense? Hey Dan, we have more panels in actually. Um, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at four pallets of 310 watt REC panels that are new old stock. So they've been sitting on pallets um, out in the field for a few years. I think they're like three years old. So it's one of those things where they technically have warranty because they haven't been, you know, the warranty hasn't been filed in the sense that, you know, they haven't been broken. Um, but I think with warranties, you have to have the original proof of purchase, which we don't have. So basically new panels um, sold pretty close to used prices. Um, we're, I don't know, um, check, check back with me on that, because I'm not, I forget what the pricing was that we're gonna be able to offer them at. But we just have the four pallets. I don't think they've got any more of these. They told us they were running out. So we can see. Um, later this week, we should have, I don't wanna count my chickens before my eggs hatch, um, but we should have a full float, full 53 foot float of 230 watt Sharp brand 60 cell panels. So they're a little smaller. I think they're like 65 inches tall instead of all the panels we've had in the past are the 72 or the for the, the 144 split cell. So they've been that full like 79 inches or 80 inches tall. Uh, so these will be, I think they've been out in the field for six or eight years. So they're, they're used, uh, but they're gonna be 60 bucks a pop. So if you've got the space and you're willing to do your racking, uh, could be a really good deal for some used panels. So we have all of our BMS wires. Yep. We need to put this in a case, I think. Okay. Which means, is the hot glue gun still a... Uh-uh, uh, because someone mad. assumed we were done. I meant to ask you that, but... That's all right. We got it warming up. I need to get some new hot glue. Do, 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 I saw do, something do, here. Do, do, do. I we do have to wonder where I put my other, oh, there's my other wing nut. I'll put that with the other one. What do you need? Uh, a stick of hot glue. Did you already put Ooh. it in? I put one in last Ooh. week. No, no, there was one here today. No, I did not put one in today. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Cool. We, we can just, just use a Sharpie, that's the we same need, thing. We right? need to buy some more of this hot glue. Yeah, I was at Home Depot today. They could have stolen some more, not stolen. They were providing, they would be providing a service by me getting something from them. That's how that so works. So we're going to set these in and bump them up. Uh, what you do trying, you think? Are I, you trying to hot glue both sides? Yes, because we Ooh. want them to not slip okay, around. But yeah. This hot glue okay. has been going on pretty, pretty quick. hot. So, so it's been relatively OK. Um, the hard part is going to be I'd really like to get them lined up on the marks. You guys can't see this. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Sorry, where are you going? Um, I've kind of marked where the where the cells are supposed to start and end, but I don't have it marked on the other piece. So let's see how thinking? this let's see how this looks up on the camera. Oh yeah, y'all be sure and look at that camera, not that camera. Oh wait, it's obvious because it's yeah. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. That seems logical. So now I gotta make sure I do these right. So we're doing negative my BMS. Check this. So we're doing B minus shoom, blue goes to the cells. So that's gonna be there. So this is gonna be a negative side. And this is negative here. So this battery just needs to drop right on like that. Okay. You want so me to hot glue and you drop? We can try that. Let me see if I'm actually hot. Yeah, I didn't. I skipped arm day this week so that I could do this instead. You ready? Um, Too sure. Bad. We're ready. I, th I think I did it. Mm, it's going to be a tight. That's okay. Oh, that looks, that's tight. Did we get far enough back? I, I aligned it with this. Yeah, that's really close. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. You want to yeah, swap for this one? Um, or do you want to place? I mean, you're pretty good at placing. This is positive. It's black. This one's white. That looks good. All right. Okay, hold on for me then. Yep. Unlike I did for you. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go for it. Okay. You ready? Go. Oh, oh, oh. Can he do it? Can he do it? That's probably going to be good enough. It better be. <laughs> No, actually, that's right on. I think dude. it's right on. Yeah, yeah. Right on. <laughs> Bam. Oh, and then now we can just like plop this one on top. I like your thinking. I need you here more often. It's fine. I get into like. It's Man, all I can't, good. I can't, I can't, uh, thanks you guys for actually interacting with me. Sometimes I need someone to talk to. Open circuit voltage. Oh, uh, let's see. That's a really good question. Open circuit voltage. I don't have the stats on the sharp cells yet. The new cells. Can you see oh, the what? Yeah, at least on the three tens. We can at least get the stuff on the three tens for open circuit. <laughs> and they should be three tens. We were told there were three tens. They're probably three tens. We have not. We actually just got those in today. Um, we haven't even pulled off any of them to throw out in the sun or anything, just to check on them. So there's just enough slot in here, and we probably can knock it away, knock it from the other side. 45.5. 45 45.5 volt open circuit. So our 310 watt RECs are 30, are 45.5 open circuit. The, I mean, they're usually pretty close, right? The, um, just because it's a 72 cell, so it's going to be in that 45 to 50 range, which means the. I have to go do the math. I don't want to say it. Um, I'm not sure what the sharps are. We'll we'll get some in, and we'll actually do some some full ton uh, some full ton tests, some full sun tests with the sharps to see what open circuit voltage they're putting out with our multimeter, just so you can get an idea with the uh, open circuit voltage and short circuit current, possibly what kind of condition they're in. I got one more spec question. A spec question. Yeah. The sharps. They're 60 cells, so they should be about 39 by 65 inches, uh, but they're not here yet, so I haven't taken a tape measure to them. But a 60 cell is usually about 39 by 65. Do you want to show that? Oh, may as well, yeah. Okay. Man, this is like, man, if we go over, it's y'all's fault, not mine now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, so I guess I need to throw some all thread in here after dropping my, I need some more hot glue. That's what I need is some hot glue. This is gonna be fun. I'll let you do what you were doing. Let me know when you got it up. Okay, Christopher, here is the... Okay, so yeah, there's the REC 310 specs, if y'all wanted to look at those. These are also like, Super heavy panels. Um, hey, it's hot. <laughs> Still, huh? Oh, did you hit, oh, you hit that, man. Yeah, that took your skin. It took my skin. Yikes. It's in here wearing, sa you know, wearing safety glasses. I'm wearing safety glasses. I you was. Your skin. I You're wearing until you burn yourself. I was until I burnt myself. <laughs> All right, so technically now we've, what was I saying? Oh, oh, those panels. So they're very thick uh, frames. 
And supposedly the glass is thicker than normal. They're supposed to be very storm rated, I guess. Which, I mean, solar panels are generally storm rated anyway, because, you know, tempered glass and they're put on roofs. Um, but anyway, if you're looking for something that's going to be particularly sturdy, actually, I guess we could put the all thread in like it is, huh? That is where it is. Um, washers. Washers. Anybody else ask anything? Oh, <laughs> we have, it's like, I don't know. We're, we, we, we commandeered the screen for something else. Break my skin. These should have plenty of bite on them. I mean, you, I broke my skin. Yeah, you did. Um, I'm gonna fill that for I the next few days. Could... That's nice. I tried to, to start the thread on each of these just to make sure they worked. Um, I have not perfected cutting all thread. You said you had a trick where you put the, uh, put the nut on there first and then cut it and that way you can. Yeah. Undo the nut, I have which a, kind of rethreads it. What do I have? I have a bandsaw, a mobile bandsaw. Oh, you do? Yeah. That might be a lot nicer. We should too, use huh? that for this. I didn't think. So about basically, that. what we're going to do here, guys, is use so many complicated tools. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do is put black tape on these. Do you have the? Could you grab the drill? Yeah. We're going to do this ASMR style. Uh-oh. You lose the washer. Oh. So, of course, it's also like, how much of it do I do? Guys, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to look at my inverter. That's all right. If we don't do it tonight, we'll do it probably next week. I just pull out the same. Uh, do you have extra washers? Uh, yeah, there's, there's more. There's more where that came from. Oh, that hurt. I think we got black tape in here. You ever no. wonder, how do you use up the rest of your black tape? This is how. All right, go for it. <laughs> I changed directions. Let's try that again. That's sick. Bam! Now it won't fit through the holes, right? Might have to re-drill this hole. We'll see. Yeah. It's <laughs> all right. We got big washers, right? Let's do the other ones. You ready? Um, How much did you want to leave on it? I, I did this. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's got some boogered threads, doesn't it? Do, 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 Here, do, do, do. why don't you work on the other one? I'll fix this one while you're doing that. Do, 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 do. A chamfer bit. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. Heat shrink instead of e tape. I considered that heat shrink. I don't know. In my mind, heat shrink's kind of expensive. Preston, if you want one, we've got the grow watts here. We've got the, uh, we've got the batteries. I was actually wanting to do, I wanted to build a 48 volt um, as a really cool build. There was somebody else that wanted one too and he was in the area. Uh, so I don't know, we might do that one of these weeks, but if you're looking for it, we've got, I think we've got everything, right? We've got the panels, we've got the grow watt inverter, we've got the cells for now. Um, I think we're down to the last 40 cells or so, 40 or 50 cells. 
Um, got the BMS here. We've got PV wire, MC4s, branch connectors. We're trying, we're trying. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> I'm used to my Makita. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Not Makita. Hitachi. I don't have a Makita. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can't do it. Y'all better hope that I'm a little bit better at electrical stuff than I am mechanical. This is why I've got a project car sitting in the, in the driveway still. All right, let's go. Not driveway, it's sitting up on a lift <laughs> in my garage. <laughs> you used a lot of extra. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fast. Put it on speed one for you. Oh, there we go. That would work. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, I saw some pictures. I think I know, Preston, which guy you're talking about. Um, I haven't gone to see those panels, obviously. I think it would be kind of creepy, maybe. I could just go buy some, I guess. His pictures are, are kind of odd. Like, some of them show the backs of panels that, like, don't have MC4s on them and stuff. Like, they're cut off. Which, I guess, isn't really that big of a deal if uh, you know how to put them back on. Do we need another nut? Or do we lose some? No, I got nuts right here. Because I need to put the end nut on to show how, oh. how far we go. What do I do with it? Here we go. Um, so, I don't know. It's... Uh, the ones we're getting are straight from a solar install out in uh, Delaware, of all places. So they're uh, they're supposed to have already been sorted and are good to go. But um, but yeah, if you can, especially if you're a handy guy, right? Like somebody that's watching this YouTube is probably somebody that doesn't really uh, doesn't need everything done for them. So. You can go a little faster, because you can control it, not me. Unlike me. All right, so now we need a little bit bigger drill bit to fit these in here. They're in this drawer here. Dum, dum, dum. What did you use last time? I don't Did you lose the half? No. Yeah, the half's been gone for a little while. I think these might be 5 sixteenths, so 3 eighths is probably the next size up. Um, if we had thought ahead of time, we could have dropped these in before putting the top piece on, but then we would be dealing with uh, making sure that these were uh, straight on the bars while we were waiting for the um, glue not to dry. Um, I don't know if y'all saw the YouTube video that popped up recently but this kind of looks like a reenactment of that. These are lithium iron phosphate, so at least if I drilled into the cell, it wouldn't explode. It's like I'm trying to destroy it. So now we have to dump it over though. Nice. This is a hefty battery. We can probably get rid of these if you want to. Um, Why do we have to dump it over? Because we got to drill these holes now. No, because we're going to stick it in through one side. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, watch out which one you take off because one's got biggered. Um, I took off the side that um, Home Depot marked for me. So. Oh, you lucky. <laughs> I took that one on purpose. I don't know, guys. We're gonna get this done in 11 minutes. They're like, we don't care. <laughs> Do you have any more? Yeah, there's one. I'm gonna steal it from you. If I had like a Siri voice just like reading off the comments to me, that could get me in trouble. <laughs> that could get you in trouble. <laughs> It's like, come on, YouTube, you're the one that allowed the comment in the first place. 
Hey, Key, I'm glad you're enjoying those 305s. I, I wish we could get some more of those. Those were, um, I feel like those are a pretty good deal. Those are fairly consistent. We had a few that came in that had bad diodes that we had to, had to tear apart. But... Okay. I feel like there were some that I didn't read, but... Dan, we have, which ones were you talking about? I know we told you about the 310s, because those are the only. Um, we've got, so Dan, of the 310 watt panels, we've only got 100 of them. And that's probably all we'll get of these. For the 230s, there was a little bit of drama today about them loading up the truck. Um, up in Delaware, and I think they've, I think they got it all sorted, but there's supposed to be more than 700 panels on their way, so we will have, we will have a full warehouse at that point. Maybe not full, but it'll be a little more cramped in here. We'll be, we'll be doing our live streams like this. <laughs> That would make sense. He's a roofer, and they he pulled those off. See, I need to get in contact with those people that are um, that are out there pulling off even the commercial or residential installs and swapping out the the lower wattage panels. That'd be great. Apartment complex with a thousand of them. That's pretty cool. Um, Dan, I'll throw. I need to throw my number out there so that you guys have it. Don't call me right now, I won't answer. But um, I'll throw my number in the chat so you guys can hit me up. Um, it would either be me or my brother, because you know we shared the number. So uh, it text or voice, either way. Oh, too much? Too much. Too much? Too much. I see. Or we could, we could just we could just drill this side out. We could drill it out, or we could just make it off-centered and put most of the thread that way, right? Congratulations, you didn't hit a cell. I'm alive! Um, I made that reference to the video. One just came out, and there's this guy just like sitting there holding this uh, power wall looking thing. It looks like it a bunch of scooter packs on it. Maybe a Jehu Garcia follower. And um, then there's the other guy standing behind him, and there's this obviously like a workshop room, little bedroom that they've got set up for themselves. And he's just sitting there with his drill back behind it, and then you just see flames burst out of this, it appears to be a, a lithium ion 18650 pack. And the guy's just sitting there holding it, he goes <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, you gotta give him credit because he's, he's just still sitting there. He's like, ah, oh, it's good, it's just burning. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Does someone have a fire extinguisher? <laughs> so, I don't know, could be he was in shock. Man, this looks good. Okay, can you grab that two by four? Um, yeah, I can do that. So we need to throw some BMS wires on, BMS sense leads. That's what those are called. Um, maybe I should throw some antiox on there before we do bus bars and stuff, right? Bus bars, and we're gonna need, what are we gonna need, zip ties? Do we have any of those little zip ties? Yeah. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit this is like, they didn't have the four ounce package, they only had the half ounce package. So it's like there's barely anything in here. And it kind of looks like it's not mixed. It's an antioxidant joint compound. Aluminum to aluminum and aluminum to copper. Or aluminum to conduit. Hello. I wish I had a little brush. Probably don't. I could just put them on the bars. Do you want to put some on the connectors as well? Um, I'm mainly worried about the aluminum to copper, or nickel, whatever this is. The top side should be copper. What are, try scraping one of those, see if it's silver underneath. This is the new part where we like, improve every time. I was talking with... How does that look to you? 
Yeah, it's copper. Okay. So I'm not worried about those on top of the bus bars. I was talking with one of our customers, he's like, and he's an electrician. Um, he never did solar stuff, but he's like, oh yeah, I got this stuff I'll put on the batteries. And I'm like, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I even lived in a house that had aluminum wiring. And this is the kind of stuff that you would make sure you put on your connections or inside of your um, totally not approved wire nuts in order to prevent oxidation because it wasn't the fact that you had aluminum wiring that made your house catch on fire. It was the fact that your aluminum wiring would oxidize and create a bad connection um, to other types of wiring or to other ty or other aluminum wiring. That was my that was my observation anyway. Um, so having something like this in there keeps the oxygen out, and with no oxygen, you can't oxidize or rust. Um, that goes there. So hey, it seems like cheap insurance. If I'm doing something that's horrible and you guys can correct me, please do. I could always take this back off and clean it. I was realizing too, there were some bus bars that I got from a guy from some batteries that had been assembled in the past. I think they were from an EV. And uh, they, were, they were covered in some type of grease or goop, and I'm sure that's what this was, is it was a, um, an antiox of some sort. Oh, I got just the right number. No, I've still got one more, but I don't need that one. Um, so now I need to punch a bus bar. Do you know how to put the sense leads on? Um, you can refresh my mind. I guess I need... Because our BMS is going to be here, right? Or do we rotate it? Um, yes, that's where it'll be. So, so B minus is BMS, so we're going to have it right here. Actually, something else we could do. We're probably not going to get to that today. But So that'll be there. So black and then the next white. Okay. And I need, dang it, I was going to do something. I've forgotten what it Bus was. Bus bar. So I'm going to do oh, yeah. black here, and then I'm going to go next white. Yep, and then just continue on. To every single one? No, I'm just doing that. Um, it'll be Black every positive, water. so basically every positive. bus bar after that. Boom, boom, boom. It'll hit every bus bar. So those three. Okay. So On the side. I'm measuring with a metal tape measure. I really should probably get myself a plastic one. You should. So I don't go zap. Um, so I need the... What do you need? I need the nuts. Was there I not... I'm going to do myself... Oh, there... Yeah. Except there I don't think you got... Did you get another package? You did get another package. Yeah, yeah. So I, get a, I need like a six inch bus bar here. Okay, you need a six inch bus bar. Do I need washers? There's no washers, uh, is there? No, no washers. Oh, okay. They're, they've got the flange thing. Little flange thing. Okay. I do need this tool here though. Oh, nice. I'll need that. There. Need this tool. Oh, goody. Eventually. Eventually. Did I say six inches? And it's 40 inch pounds. Six inches. 40 inch pounds. Yes, that's what we're doing is 40 inch pounds. Um, so what I'm doing here is cutting the bus bar for between these two guys. These are my 10 snips that are for electrical contractors, so that seems appropriate. This is just copper sheet that I got from the local uh, metal supply house. Metal supply house, if you couldn't hear me there. Um, I had to call around to a few. I think it was the metal supermarket that had it locally. A lot of the other ones were like either they didn't sell at that quantity or they didn't want to cut one little sliver off of um, a big sheet or whatnot. I was like, eh, it kind of makes sense. I can't really blame you for that. Something someone told me just the other day, I say told me, I saw them tell someone else, so I paid attention, is if you stick this on here and tap it, the copper is soft enough, it'll tell you where the hole needs to be. Bam! That's pretty slick. So now I've got, let's see if I can see that. Now I got two little indentions. So now I need to punch it. The link to the beam. Oh, hi Shane. How are you doing, sir? Um, can you list this link where to purchase also came for the cells? You know, I don't, <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I don't have a link to the BMS. I don't even have it listed on like Facebook Marketplace or anything. Um, so hit me up. I could shoot you over the documentation for it if you're curious um, what it looks like from that perspective. I've also got a couple videos 
I know I've got a, a one specifically for the Ant VMS on this channel where I was building a battery with it. If you wanted to kind of see what it looks like from that perspective, um, we're working on getting our, hold on while I try not to smash my fingers, I've done that before. Um, we're working on getting our, our shop set up, our website, uh, but I'm not quite there yet to have all the links. What was the other thing he was asking? It was um, BMS and the cells. the cells. The cells I do have on Facebook. Uh, dang it, who'd you look for? I guess you'd look for Christopher Bean under Facebook because I don't have that under the business Facebook. Oh, I have, well, no, it's not really a good listing. I do have that on the website. Oh gosh, I feel like that was harder than normal. Watch me, I'm like doubling up on the bus bar and it's just, okay. When I do these bus bars, it definitely leaves a bad indention on one side. I clicked the wrong thing. Bad indention on one side, uh, which, you know, a reamer would help. I make sure that I put the smooth side down on the terminals. So I'm going backwards from positive. Our red, yeah. white, is that correct? Did I assume that correctly? Uh, Or red start back over here. There's actually supposed to be two wires on that. Ah, do we go back to that drawing and look at it? We're gonna have to recrimp a few. Okay. Well, just two. It's nine o'clock. We're gonna have to stop and start again next week. Well, that sucks. Yeah. We're getting really close, guys. Um, sure. I know one hour was a little um, ambitious. Ambitious. Yes, it was ambitious. Um, I'm gonna stay for a few minutes because I think if we stop the stream. And we stop the chat, but I'm going to set down my bus bar and go see if y'all had any more questions really quick. And we're not going to touch the battery anymore because we'll finish that on camera. So yeah, we put our number in the in the chat if you guys want to write that down, if you needed to reach out to us for anything. Um, we will come back. Our plan is to do Monday nights for our live streams. So I'll plan our next one and shoot it out. Uh, if you're a subscriber, you should get a notification from YouTube that someone's going live. I think that's how that works. I just trust that it you know works to some extent. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, let me know how you liked it and how I could do better. Maybe if I could just like not talk as much and let someone else talk, I don't know. I feel like I just did a bunch of talking. Um, but you guys participate and I really appreciate having questions to answer instead of just sitting here and being a motor mouth. So we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>